Hi there, this is Esther. In this video, we're gonna make a little cute stamp. So let's start with a circle. You can do that by pressing L on your keyboard and hold on to shift key so you can make a perfect circle. In this case, I have my fill color, but no stroke color. So I'm gonna switch that by pressing shift X and increase my stroke width so you can see better. So now I have a circle and I do want to create another circle that shares the same center point, which is concentric circle. So I'm gonna press Command C to copy and Command F to paste at the same place. If I just press E, which is free transform to drag it, it will only drag from a corner. However, if I hold down to option key and shift key to keep proportion, it will drag from the center. So now I have a much better version. You will notice that as I drag the bigger circle, the width also increased. That's because I have my preference set to scale the effect. If you hate that, you can come over to Illustrator and Preference and General to uncheck the scale strokes and effects. So I'm gonna actually gonna uncheck that. It doesn't affect what has already been done, so I'm gonna use my eyedropper tool to sample the original width. So they are at the same size. So now I wanna do some typing on the path. So if you press T, you will have your type tool selected. If you come over to the type tool and click and hold without releasing, the third option says type on the path tool you will see basically your little eye icon, the text tool icon have little arm around it. So if I click on the inner circle, that will turn this part into the path. So that's pretty neat. I'm just gonna type a random city, which is, I don't know, London. and option eight to do the little dot and then copy and paste a few times. So I have this word around it. If you see this little red plus sign that just tells me that my text, some of my texts are cut off. So I'm just gonna press command shift comma to make my to basically fit my words in. This will turn my text size a little bit smaller, I believe two points at a time. So I pressed escape key and I wanna change it to a different color, something like this. So now I wanna create another concentric circle. Select the circle, command C, command F, to paste in place and hold on to option and shift as you drag. Maybe I wanna create another one that is even smaller. So I'm gonna do command C, command F, press E to free transform and hold on to option and shift. So I'm happy with how it looks like right now. So now I need the little like, I don't know, flying zigzag wavy icon. You will see what I'm talking about in a second. So I'm gonna press backslash key and just drag a line and maybe hold down to option and shift to do it a couple of times and command D to repeat the previous action. And now I wanna select all these four lines and come over to effect Distort, transform, and zigzag. That's where the wavy line comes from. So you wanna turn the points to smooth instead of corner. 
and maybe turn the waves a little bit more dramatic and click on OK. So if you're not happy with the spacing, this one seems a little bit too tight for me. So I'm just going to drag the bottom one down a little bit and redistribute the space. So I'm going to select all four and click on Align and make sure Align 2 is selected as Align 2 Selection and Distribute Object, the second option. Vertical Distribute Center. And now you have a little more breathing room. So now we have a stem. If you like tutorials like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I also teach Illustrator and iPad classes on Skillshare in depth. If you're interested, go ahead and grab the two month free link in my description box. Until next time, bye.